In this video, I am going to show you how to make a table chart in Google Sheets. The main benefit of using a table chart in Google Sheets is that you can sort and manipulate this table chart to display data without changing your original table. So a table chart is basically just a chart that is a table. So you don't really need to use one because a spreadsheet by itself is basically a table. But if you want to display this data and sort it while having your original data intact, then this is a useful feature to know about. So the first step to making a table chart in Google Sheets is that you need to have the data in your spreadsheet that you're going to create the chart with. So in this example, I have different products and I have their revenue for four years. And this is what I'll use to create my chart with. So when it comes time to make your chart, what you are going to do is highlight your entire table. And I have the header row highlighted as well. And then what we're going to do is in the top menu, insert chart. Now it by default is going to select a chart type that is probably not going to be a table chart. We are going to go and have to, to set that manually. And so what you do is in this chart editor on the right hand side, um, you navigate down to this chart type setting and you will select that. And then at the very bottom here, under this other section, you will find the option for table chart. And so now I have a table chart created. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to resize this by selecting these handles, um, just so the table chart is the size of my data. So now I have this table chart. And as you can see, it is just exactly my data up here. But now I can edit this, sort this, and rearrange this without editing my uh, starting data and that is the main benefit of using a table chart so now I'll just run you through some of the setting options that you have in the chart editor here um, so here are my columns so if you want to remove a column you would just select this three dot menu here and you can remove different columns um, if you want to do that and only display certain columns from your data if you want to switch your rows and columns, you can select this option. Um, then your rows and columns will change places. If you want to remove your headers, that would be this option. By checking and unchecking that, you will remove and add your headers. Now you have some additional options under the Customize tab. If you want to remove the alternating row colors, that option is here. If you want to have row numbers, shown in your table chart that is this option then sorting your data is done here so if you want to sort it by revenue ascending by one of your columns um, you would select the column that you want to sort it by and then in my example it's revenue so you can set it to ascending or descending through these different sort settings that you have here and then lastly, if you have a ton of data and you want to show um, columns on different pages, you can do that here. Um, so this would make it so you have different pages that you can scroll through depending on the size of your data. Um, so that setting is done here. But that is it for this video. Table charts are super easy to create. And again, the main benefit is uh, displaying your data and sorting it without editing the original table that it comes from if you want to keep that in its same spot for every row and column. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.